Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's going really fast, Jesus. isn't it? That's going really fast, uh, isn't uh, it? Uh, 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 don't That's like <laughs> Jews. I don't like. Um, I don't like anybody here. Well, <laughs> nobody here. Oh yeah, that's loud. All the people <laughs> in this room are. I tigers. object. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. This is so what I think, but then the thing is, is that when I bring it really close to my mouth, it almost makes me speak lower because I feel like I don't want to spit all over the mic. Spit all over the mic. It's okay. <laughs> Spin's don't, a bad habit. Don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So if I do, or if I am talking like, no, I guess this. Mics should are be like joints. You can put your mouth on them. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speak well, into well, well, the well. microphone. Michael should get a microphone. I should sing. He should and talk. I Are you already? Yep. We'll always love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've always. I'm gonna sing that, but like an octave low. And <laughs> I will always love <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soprano. All right. Speaking of the sopranos. So, you don't think we should call this blind math? Let's l- let's put it. Why on don't the you like blind math? Don't look so offended. I I'm not, of- I'm not offended. <laughs> I just want to know why you don't like blind math. This well, name that I thought of. Like, <laughs> let's just that put, I put it on all the my shelf. Heart and soul. You know, I went blind to come up with that name. Yeah, but do you know how hard it was to be it blind? It makes sense for you. <laughs> my vision was gone for like. Two months, I was li- legally blind. Was it, you were. It was gone for two months. It's still gone. It's been like three months. Like uh, three months, three months <laughs> I was blind. <laughs> three <laughs> months I was blind, <laughs> and the only reconciliation I could get was knowing that I would be able Have to use name. the name blind <laughs> math. And you don't want to use blind math. You're not. Maybe if you were blind, we'd use it. Motherfucker. <laughs> I want to use it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm not opposed. Wait, so is this, <laughs> this isn't our, you know, w- we're, we're restarting I this, right? I was legally, bl- uh, we, we, we can, whatever. I because mean, we, can, we started. I'm just saying, like. Because we can't, we have all that shit in the beginning with me singing and you singing. We're going to, there's editing, but. Um, don't worry, don't worry about that, Allie. That's for me to know. I thought we were gonna talk about music. We we are talking about music right now. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if I want to call this blind math, the blind math podcast featuring absolute zero. Featuring and absolute what are, zero. And what are you, Alexander? Madame Dubois. Ma- Madame Dubois. No, I know it's featuring absolute zero. The hip hop. Star. Absolute zero, the hip hop star. Okay, that's good. I just needed to do me that an absolute so I could zero. Like sync these up later. But okay. Yeah. Are we yeah, synced? Be fine. Okay, so this is the Blind Math Podcast. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> 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 Zach, can you hear this? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear it? Can you hear it when I do this? Like itch my mouth on it. Is that what makes a dynamic mic? I can't. I can't hear it. What makes a dynamic mic? Intrinsic to the name dynamic, there must be two kinds of functions with All it. All I know is that you're supposed to use those at live shows. At laugh yeah. at live shows. Dynamic mics pick up the sound like only like like a foot maybe away from your v- the actual microphone, whereas 
condenser mics will pick up all the sound in this room. This is also true. Okay, so a live. Okay. It's I see. Yes. It won't pick up all the extra yeah, sound. Yeah, they're more sound. sensitive. Okay, we're powerful. still winning. So this, so we're watching the football game, the Florida State Miami game, while we're doing our first real podcast, because this is not our first. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought that, yeah, maybe this isn't real. Yeah, this is only <laughs> an illusion. <laughs> it's still fraudulent. <laughs> real reality is We're on a different plane of existence that we have yet to reach, so <laughs> we will notify whoever <laughs> listens to this. We're when we get there. there. We're still talking shit. I'm not <laughs> talking shit, man. Shit is talking me. <laughs> We're just we're watching the game because we couldn't possibly focus enough on this <laughs> to turn off the game. And now we're no one's even <laughs> more pathetic as we're just Mind watching the commercials. Violent, <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the science of the Hyundai commercial that All we're right. watching right now. The Hyundai car. There's a, there's a wheel on that <laughs> car. I think there's physics <laughs> there somewhere. Oh, the roundness of circles. You know, me and Michael were talking today about the difference between pi and tau, and why tau is the better and by circle we constant. We mean he and uh, by <laughs> me, we, and I was telling Michael about why tau. What time did you get over to Michael's today? Oh, like, uh, what, like thirty minutes before you did? Like, okay. just because we're talking on mics, like I'm, like she's making no eye contact. <laughs> she's like staring into a wall, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, what's on in your head? Like, what? Like, <laughs> Well, we don't need eye contact. I mean, uh, well, the thing is, I, none of y'all are wearing headphones, so none of y'all. Oh, like I that's his That's his eye contact. Ear, it's ear contact. contact. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, I was yes. like. Imagine what it would be like if you could make ear contact with someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. You just have to shut the fuck up for a little <laughs> while. <laughs> and then to, like, talk. I'll just <laughs> rub my ear on hey, you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I thought? Whoa, careful where you, you know put your ear. Human beings needed. More ridiculous courting rituals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> when the female human shows affection towards the male human, let's like talk about that. I'm kind of her. We're looking at us and like observing, uh, like us, like courting and stuff. And the female human in her natural habitat. In front yes. of a she likes to rub her ear onto the male's genitals. <laughs> that used to be my favorite thing to do when I would go to parties at one point. Ear, ear fucking? Um, it's just to like be like, I'm entering the mating tank. Like, <laughs> no, I I used to. So I guess I would go to parties every once in a while. Um, I guess this was probably two years ago, and you know I was still I was still like young college chicky do and but you know it was it was okay to go to a party if you were there with like a bunch of your friends and you were just drinking someone's alcohol you know it was whatever and it was just you know eventually it was just like you, you made commentary on all the people around you oh so you <laughs> would just you would just make snide marks in the corner like look at that person i over kind there. of was looks like he didn't I'm take a shower this morning Oh, Zach, I'm sorry. Was that said, was that said about you at one point? I, well, I didn't take a shower this morning, so <laughs> the hipster smell yeah. is Dude, a real thing. I only shower fifty percent of my morning, Zach. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Well, I'm sorry. What, Michael? Yeah, I didn't hear that. I was gonna say, oh, I only shower. That could mean I shower the other fifty percent of my night. Well, I don't have a even I though it doesn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna like not acknowledge the last um, two. Minutes I have dry of skin. I have dry skin. I have to take showers in olive oil. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> 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 what, well, you shower every yeah, day, Michael? Every day. It's real every yeah. day you shower. Well, what, what, uh, if how, he has okay, oily I skin, I, uh, I don't believe sense. that. I don't believe that, and I'm going to tell you why. Hold off. I'm going to tell I you why I don't believe that. <laughs> like the human <laughs> technology? <laughs> One, because you have lotion. Two, you have male genitalia. Yeah. And they and think <laughs> when, when I don't <laughs> wash them, which is why I wash them regularly. Wait, because they don't. Why do you refrain from washing them, yeah, Zach? Like because of because, because of the fact they that smell you like roses. I don't know. Like That's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said that. Like no, I d I don't have to wash them every what, day dude? for me to go outside. Like, why should I wash waste so much water? You know, like I don't know. 
when I when I remember when I was in high school, I had a foreign exchange student from Spain, and he washed himself but once a week. Yeah, in and New like, York, they they don't wash themselves and that much. But here's the thing: he wore a bathing suit every day he went outside. And, like, every time he saw a water hole, he just, like, jumped in it and swam right. around. And I, he, here's, Wait, here's you guys thing. have water <laughs> holes? <laughs> like, you're the physics guy. I guess I'm the, the biology guy. You know, like, <laughs> after a day, dude, like, bacteria will just start eating the dead skin off of your body. Well, that's good. It's yeah. Someone has to, yeah. They, Someone has to collect that. odorous particles that make you smell bad. <laughs> well, do I smell yeah. bad? Is that what you're saying? Is are you insinu- Do I s- I smell Not bad you, right now? But if if there was a group oh. of you at a party, it would you would Allie, you did would you admit shower the hipster me? smell. Like when no. I go to, like, honestly in Tallahassee, the when I go to hipster smell. parties, there's yeah. the it, there's just the hipster smell, and it's like. White I think male, okay. you're thinking of like crust punk. Just, okay, no, enough. he has a point. He has a point. Crust punks do not like to shower. Yeah. And whenever I go to the hipster party, they smell like they haven't exactly. showered. And I agree with that. But there's a fine line between what I do, which is skip a shower every, every so day. often. Yeah, like every so <laughs> often. <laughs> no, and every like, other day. And like what they do where they sleep in the same clothes for weeks and like, you know, like drink beer like it's like milk, you know. Was <laughs> yeah, that a good it was play? a good Sorry, play. Sorry, we're watching like a football I, game. I, I, Nah, man. I gotta like, I gotta keep my like but my body's flora. You know, maybe you're oilier because I I have a friend who's oily and it's just like I can't. I shower twice a day. My sister I, is even I oily. Do, I do shower wait, oilier wait, than wait, I am. Let me ask you something. Do you do you get ashy if you no, don't? No, I get ashy. No, if that I would take a shower. If you, yeah, because it dries you, you ashy, out. Yeah, but then if I you take, shower, then I use lotion on. Then you put lotion. Like, then just stop showering, man, and you don't even <laughs> you don't have to buy lotion like, anymore. You know, Every th- you're th- no. like that's the same like logic my ex roommate had. I was he was like he's like <laughs> why do I have yeah. to clean the kitchen? I don't make a mess, and it's just like dude, even if you never even if you, you never don't made make a mess, a mess which it gets isn't true, you would still have to clean yeah. the kitchen because it would accumulate dust. And he's like, yeah. well, I guess I'll just not use the kitchen. And I was just like, that is a stupid solution to this problem. And he realized <laughs> that it was a stupid solution to the problem. So he fucking <laughs> cleaned something. It was just like. But all right. But that's different, different, though. Different? Because the kitchen is a communal thing. Your own body is your own business. No, the fuck is not. Not when it's not when you have to. Oh, oh, the not, spotlight not when theory. Are we about to get into that? To. No one notices when you smell bad. Yeah, is no what I'm one, saying. No one does. No one, All right, all right, Michael. Can you tell me what the spotlight uh, theory yeah, is? It's, can you it's tell me what it is? This thing in psychology, philo- psych- psychology, psychology. Yeah, and um, uh-huh. it basically states that people overestimate how much people pay attention to them everybody thinks that they're the center of attention more than they actually right and like and like the thing that you told me was that they asked a bunch of people um if you wore the same clothes for a week would anybody notice and everyone was like yeah someone would but in reality when they do it nobody nobody notices yeah because why would someone like oh today jimmy was wearing a blue shirt if somebody was paying attention to you though then it depends though. it depends like you know how if you're close or friends with someone you pay attention to them more i bet i bet michael's roommate darvon would not even notice if he was because the thing is michael wears the same clothes every day he wears basketball shorts and like that's a white the same t-shirt. general yeah. kind like, of clothes but not the same actual clothes but that's what i'm saying like he wouldn't notice and plus it. girls are very they have lots of different outfits yeah. He, so I'm just saying, Michael. If I had a very no, specific outfit that it I would wore have every to be day, probably something that girls that's might that's notice. Or it. Like I don't if know. If we had like some specific, like if it's like, you know, we met up every single day and did something together. But if it's like a cl- like your classmates, I bet you probably wouldn't notice. No, you're right. Fuck yeah. them anyway. Like they Fuck don't. Fuck them other <laughs> niggas. <'cause I'm laughs> down for my niggas. Fuck the mother niggas, cause I'm down for my nigga. Fuck the mother niggas, I ride for my nigga. I die See. for my nigga. See, the spotlight <laughs> theory sounds like a branch off of narcissism to me. Narcissism. I don't know, though. Narcissism. Because I think yeah, it that, stems that, more from paranoia. Actually, no, you're right. It is kind of narcissism. Like, like you're the shit, so everybody should pay attention yeah, to you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. and I empathize a lot with narcissism. 
because my people, the Jews, are like the inventors of narcissism. Uh, what know, happened uh, to the I mean, their oppressors who were pretty narcissistic? When you're actually the best at everything. I'm sorry, they're just haves and have not said. You mean? They're oppre- they're, you, th- you like to say they're oppressors a lot. Yeah, <laughs> 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 only when it makes sense. I'm sorry, it's no. I mean, where wouldn't wasn't uh, were Hitler a narcissist? His race? He was a nihilist. But Amen. what does a nihilist mean again? So nihilist, like, right? So or like a nihilist, nihilist. is a uh, was a is like a thing that was defined by I believe Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche, Nietzsche, and like Nietzsche. And I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> And it's basically the idea that, you know, there is no God, so there's no meaning, so we can do whatever we want. Um, uh, I remember this. It's a, is I it mean, like, like hedonism? This is like, it's kind of like, there's hedonist aspects to it. Like, I'm I'm not giving it justice here, I'm sure. But like, it's basically the idea, life has no finite meaning. Everyone uh-huh. makes up their own decision, their own philosophy. Their own morality. So, like, I agree with that part. Like, everyone makes up their own philosophy. But this mm-hmm. whole, like, thing, like, oh, life has no meaning is so stupid. Because, mm-hmm. like, saying life has no meaning is basically saying, oh, because I'm not be- going to become the president of Earth, there's no meaning. You mm-hmm. know, it's ridiculous. Like, just because, like, you die and go nowhere doesn't mean that you have no meaning. It just means that when you die, you go nowhere. Yeah. Is all. Yeah, yeah. So like the afterlife doesn't give you meaning. Right. Doesn't and give you purpose. And Hitler really liked Nietzsche, which kind of ruined Nietzsche's res- um, respect. <laughs> you know, anything that Hitler liked ruined its respect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People <laughs> Bro, you know what this reminds me of? I have a friend, love her to death, but I went to her house uh-huh. and um, she was telling me about how her and her boyfriend basically they were in Oregon and they joined a rally to stop them from putting fluorine into the water. Chlorine or fluorine? Fluorine. Fluorine? Fluoride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fluoride. Yeah, right. Yeah. It wouldn't just because, be fluorine. Because um, you know it has like benefits for like your teeth uh-huh. and like you need it in your diet and it can be hard to get. And basically the argument that he, he was trying to use to me was like, you know, it it's brain control, right? And I was just like, brain control. And he's like, yeah, Hitler used it in his water. And I was just like, maybe they they used it in the water because it had positive effects. I mean, yeah, it, well, and it's just like, it's a, they're like, it's a brain control. I'm wait, like, so he literally. Simplest. Man, whenever people say that shit about Hitler, like, like I the, fucking hate that argument because it's, it's the whole guilt by association argument, yeah. in which you can do for literally anything. Like any th- like it's like causation, oh, you, you correlation, like broccoli? causation. I heard Chairman Mao liked broccoli. You know, like uh, well, like you know, it's ridiculous. Like it has nothing to do with each other necessarily. Like, but like facile analogies. People love to talk about Hitler, but they but never talk like about what Hitler actually used to justify his craziness, which was the notion of hyper evolution, which is which I kind of just made up. But like, it's basically right. the notion that okay. Black people are the lesser d- evolved form of of white people, you know, or w- which is makes no sense because it like black people became white people over like a thousand years as opposed to um w- probably closer to ten million years would be necessary for there to be an actual like evolutionary difference, and he used the same thing for Jewish people that Jewish people were just like a lesser evolved, and like they had some white tendencies, which is why they had like smartness accord according to hitler which is why they were smart enough to like you know get into banking and you know so this is really Europe. true so he he attributed it to an a pseudo scientific thing like right this this like so our our blonde hair blue-eyed people they evolved further from the that's a what black he's man thinking. That's what he, he was saying that blonde, blue-eyed people were the most evolved. Did, did like, they period. technically, how did they technically uh, come about? White, blonde, Didn't they white. just move to colder regions? Well, yeah, it's well, it's basically, it's, ba- it's isolation. Like, okay. like, when you have um, populations that are isolated, like, genetic drift starts to occur. Uh-huh. And you start getting the favor. Like, even if you're 
population, even if it's not a natural like selection, you can still get genetic drift where certain traits start to become more, more, um, more common. Yeah. Because there's not the exchange of like genetic information. So yeah, it's a dilution, and right? And the dilution of the lesser common trait. Yeah, like well, basically, like when you don't have like gene flow, like one, like certain traits. What's will gene start flow? Well, like basically, when you don't have um, any genetic information flowing between populations. So, like, okay. let's say, okay. like, there's a population of Native Americans on one side of a mountain range and there's a population on the other side, you know, mm-hmm. and there's no, like, interaction. Right. Nobody moves between those. You start to see different traits happen, like, be more prominent on one side than on the other side. Mm-hmm. And the longer that there's no interaction interaction between them the more different they will become okay and um another note on that for a long time in europe up until now in some areas being pale of skin was more attractive because it meant you didn't have to work as much Mm -hmm. which was a sign of wealth so pale skin you were more likely to fuck more likely to breed Etc. But also, it was also because um, since the sun isn't as intense right, in hotter right. regions, like um, it's actually not as beneficial. Oh, good thing. Sorry, football yeah, game. Good football thing. Game. Picked but it's not as beneficial for you to produce pigment because it's inefficient. Uses Vitamin D res- absorption right. of of resources like um. Yeah, right. Like Basically. it's there is a con- contraire to so white people burn in South Florida. The the um contraire to that is I think black people suffer from depression a little bit more up in Detroit because they don't have as easily uh, the ability to to absorb vitamin D through their skin. That explains why Jarvan is the way he is. <laughs> yes. In all of our really? as we said before, at zeros, aka Michael's roommate. He's from Detroit, and, you know, I think he needs a hug. He might need somebody to Well, when did he move from Detroit? And this isn't everyone from Detroit. Well, I mean no, everybody from Detroit that's black wants to kill themselves. Is that that's a what fact. What do you mean? Perfect. That is a fact. That is tr- What do I mean by Delineate that? Delineate I mean, that a little more I mean, for me. I, one time I, was w- I went into Denver's room, and he had a noose. Really? No, I made that up. I'm sorry. It wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I mean, I, I could see how that would happen, you know. Well, let me talk about my next pet peeve, because after he brought up that argument, he went with fluorine is not natural. <laughs> Everything in this room is natural. These We're eating potato chips. That's natural. I was just like, dude. It's on the periodic table. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it was, like it was created by stars. <laughs> <laughs> created in a lab somewhere, obviously. So I think he like means flor. It's fluoride, which would be in the water. Yeah. Right? Sorry, I don't know. I'm I eating mean, chips right now. Some of these theories, like we were talking about conspiracy theories the other day, like some of these theories, like I feel like people just want to hate the government. They want to expect that the government is doing diabolical stuff. So well, they just they, they just shouldn't they shouldn't up. throw that to the w- they shouldn't throw that theory out either. They should just be more. I mean, because you know the I, the government probably is, you know, pretty evil beyond oh, the yeah. scopes of our imagination. Well, all right, here's the thing. I all right, I truly believe that America is the greatest country in the world. However, I think our government is totally fucked but i think every government is totally fucked i agree so like honestly like you know we have our problems like you have to realize we were the first country the first country to say fuck you to the aristocracy to say we are ran by the people the people are doing this now however in michael's case he was not included in the people at that time Mm -hmm. because he is uh of dark skinned um but Nonetheless, we were the first country to be like, we do not want to be ran by solely rich people. We want to be ran by everybody. Everybody gets a say. The Constitution was made so that we people could do that forever. 
that said, I still think that our government has a lot of problems with it. A lot of problems. Well, um, I'm actually reading a book right now. I actually should probably know the name, but it's actually an e-book. So I guess I'm technically listening to a book right now. <laughs> and it's about these two guys, and um, they were responsible for doing, like, like the Contras of Nicaragua and all these, like, like Holly North uh-huh. actions to like and like the, the um, Chiquita banana problem too stuff like that yeah like they're they were responsible for all these covert missions to overthrow governments oh. but like the thing about it I'm is like they're li- like they were involved in you know Iraq and Iran like you know that's like yeah Taliban and like what's the name Ar- of the book Al-Qaeda. are you t- um I'll get it it's one of the guys named the, Oliver North like I do not remember, but what I do know is that like these guys, like even though like these things, like that they that they chose to do, had horrible consequences. From their point of view, it actually didn't look like that bad. You know what I mean? Like they thought they were doing like good. You know. Well, I mean, so did point. Hitler. Cultural imperialism. Hitler, yeah. Hitler wasn't thinking. I want to kill everyone on the face of the earth he was just thinking i want to make this a better place for my people yeah i know I mean, and to a certain degree i can i can sympathize with that and that's and that's what, what? i'm saying what well, <laughs> what did you I'm just, I'm just no i'm like michael's like, face just got really like i'm, I'm like, sorry I for a like, <laughs> did, I, did i offend some like some like jew part of you that was like really the jew part. mad about hitler like he did something i'm still bad, mad at man. hitler I'm still mad. You know what's at him. crazy? Never Stalin again. Stalin was probably worse. Oh, just, you know, you know, Stalin killed forgot. twice as many as Hitler did, yeah. and Mao he killed three times as many as Hitler did. Hey, don't even and get. And it was of his own people. Don't even get started on on what is this, Genghis Khan? That, <laughs> that was pretty bad. Well, Genghis Khan just raped as many people as Hitler yeah. did. He no, didn't I kill heard, them. All. I heard some retarded <laughs> figure, like like twenty percent of like um. Of like Asian people have like direct descendants yeah. from him, like not even. Is like that how the I'm Mongolians it's came only about? Twenty to be on, yeah. Like, well, like the like I the mean, the rape was, figure for that, that dude. He probably raped more women than like anyone. Oh, yeah. in history, then like Thomas really? Jefferson. By far. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> way more than anybody. Probably like if you combine you all my the number. rape, like <laughs> how many people have like, you raped, Ali? <laughs> He had to have raped like multiple women per day, like for a dump for like thirty years. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's was his incentive to spread his seed. No, his <laughs> incentive was to be the fucking boss of everything. Well, that yeah. dude was a boss. Like, do you know? Okay, he was insane. <laughs> he was insane. He was. But when you're like living in a war, like a war. But does raping women make you a boss, or just um, well, having Allie, this other power? Allie, this you're not gonna like this answer. <laughs> I wasn't if expecting you, if you, to. If you go into a town and you murder the king and then you rape his wife, you are the boss of that town now. That's how it works. I, I understand, <laughs> but murdered all don't you also too. have to? You have to. You can't just rape the women. You have to. You have well, to like overcome the men in that town. Yeah, well, that's well, what I'm saying. Like, but like, here's the thing: he was a brilliant strategist, a brilliant leader, a brilliant tactician, and he had a like brilliant the, rapist. And he had like the like he not had an army that was again. like way ahead of its time, like historically, yeah. like an army that could beat that doesn't appear in like the world for like hundreds of years so it's like it's actually like he just by far can do whatever the fuck he wants anywhere he wants to basically he was he was the jamace winston of i mean that doesn't he that so like the thing about it is he raped a lot of women and it's one of those things that like you never really hear in history class because nobody wants to talk about the history of rape but pretty much every armed conflict in the history oh, yeah. of humanity I has involved a ga- lot of rape. You want to know World War II, you World War Game of Thrones, man. You want to hear a fucked up story about about rape, about rape and um, even Vietnam, like mo- like modern conflicts, like you, like there's no, like yeah, yeah, real you're right, huge you're right. Problem. I remember I was in middle school and we were learning about the Holocaust, and uh, my teacher was talking about what happened in the camps, and he was like, he's going down the list, and he was like. So, you know, they were they would beat them, the gas chamber, the people would work and they wouldn't feed them. 
And like he was just listing off like and at a certain point he was it was almost like he was just making shit up like, oh, yeah. And then they would tie their arms together and throw them off horses. And, you know, what I mean, it's just like he was just he was just like thinking of something terrible. And it was like <laughs> they probably did that. And this guy <laughs> in, the, in the crowd just like raised his hand and he was like, were the women raped? And he was like, oh, I'm sure they were. Yes, they were raped. And, like, something about it, like, it's just stuck with me for so many years. Like, I've just been like, why did he ask that question? Uh, like, well, why like, did he want to know the answer to that? Was he well, just like, oh, it would have been so much fun to be a Nazi. You can fuck anyone you want. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, uh, that's what it seemed like. News. That's what but it yeah. seemed like. And <laughs> Some really dark part of you is probably like, yes, I would have loved to be a Nazi. <laughs> so I could rape all the Jew yeah. women. Oh, man. <laughs> so many Jew women. They're, they're so bosoms, many Jew you know. Rhythms, I like the bosoms. Jewish bosom. Hey, man. That's the way it bosom is. Bosom is Yiddish for boobs. So this is the point is that true? of the that. game that's not true. at which... <laughs> FSU is whooping that ass. Oh, Let what is the score? Make note of this. It is, I believe it's like 35 to 14 right now. FSU is like the greatest school in college football yeah, right now. Yeah, baby, number two. <laughs> Sorry. That makes us species. <laughs> well, we're right What's number three? Is that is that cum? You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Let's was talk I about Jankum. Am I talking to you about Jankum? This? Jankum. All right. So Jankum, this is a good topic to have. Jankum is something that happened in my my hometown. Yeah, it I was, was actually Wikipediaing it in the car. In in high school at Palmetto Ridge High School in Naples, Florida, they uh, what they would do is they would get a gallon jug, shit and piss inside of it, and put a balloon on top, and overnight the gases that would come from the shit and piss would fill up the balloon and they would take the balloon and inhale the concoction and get high mm -hmm. off that not sure how that gets you high exactly maybe uh michael could tell us use your chemistry i don't know yeah my, my, michael doesn't know so i don't know what, chem what chemical it um according to yeah. wikipedia jankum is purportedly a hallucinogenic inhalant and it, it is created from fermented human waste like zach was saying it was reported to be a popular street drug among zambian street children and zambia is the is a country in africa right. uh, and it said is there anything else so there's a description what's the I'm highlight curious like what chemical it is but i guess I'll look well it i heard it's later. like methane it obviously but like I don't know exactly the chemical. I, I heard the high is kind of like not having oxygen. Man, I wish we had someone who was on Jankum before to tell us. Become we need to do some field <laughs> research. <laughs> <laughs> who yeah, wants? Like to, Michael, do you want to? You want to get back some Jankum? To your high you, gotta, you got a you got a water bottle around here. I got to pee. Kind of. <laughs> I don't know, man. I want to do LSD though. Oh, this is, okay. Never this is something that? I don't understand why. Because like you, Michael, is. And uh, in one phrase, the worst Jamaican ever, because I've never seen him successfully smoke cannabis without uh, having a problem. What do you mean? <laughs> well, like, I thought he I, smoked I, it I with get us. Too, no. I get too paranoid. Yeah. I get too paranoid. <laughs> yeah. You, you ruined all that my hopes and dreams about paranoid. hanging out with a Jamaican. <laughs> like when I was I'm in sorry. <laughs> I mean, no, Darvon, okay. I don't Darvon, care. Darvon can do that Yeah, for you. Darvon's Jamaican. That's right. I f forgot. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, neither of y'all are born in Jamaica anyways, but like... So, like, Jamaica... You still like, have that <laughs> culture. It's a, it's a small percent, very small Yeah, percentage. you probably know every Jamaican in Miami. Oh, no, I don't know if that's like true, but... Smoke, I don't know, like, it's... Really? Yeah, it's Oh, yeah, it's like, like the... Really? The on the Sopranos. Thing. It's like a subculture, and, like, Rastafarians are, like, going to extreme... But didn't you say that your, your family would smoke, like, at parties? No, never. Oh, I could have sworn you said, like, growing up, you had it around you all the Ooh. time. Nah, maybe Darvon did, but oh. me, nah. Oh, okay. Like, I, I always hung out Was with Was your family Catholic, or? My family Catholic? Um, My grandmother is Episcopalian. Oh, okay. Which is, like... That's pretty Catholic. The, the reasonable version of Catholicism. Right, right. <laughs> like, the, the Episcopal Church, like, they seem, like, really reasonable, actually. They made a lot of church choices which were like they don't actually believe that you're drinking the actual blood and the actual body yeah but it's not only <laughs> that they, <laughs> like the they um they they accepted like gay preachers uh-huh okay really yeah and 
be Mazel Tov. Was the church that your fa- parents went to? This I don't mean to. Uh, it's the Episcopal Church. Was it, and was like, it they, like they all black, a lot or was it for that. was it all was it mixed race? Um, it was mixed race. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You know, you know. But yeah, they caught a lot of flack for those for those decisions, but it's like. I mean, are you guys going to really take a literal interpretation of the Bible? No offense to you if you do, but uh, honestly, it's like, are you re- like, like, how can you read the Bible <laughs> literally? Really? Yeah. Like, like, I want, if somebody listens to this podcast, I want you to put, like, to post if in the comments of, like, <laughs> like, how you could possibly, like, in a way that I could understand. If someone's li- the Bible yeah. to be completely a hundred percent literal. Well, if someone could do that, that would be pretty amazing. If someone, if someone's actually listening to this podcast, I want you to go to BrickTestament.com, which is a website that takes all of the stories in the Bible and reenacts them with Legos, really? which is pretty amazing wow. for the parts where it says, if a woman is being raped in the country then you must stone the rapist. But if she's being raped in the city, you must stone them both because she could have cried for help. That is hilarious in Lego <laughs> form. <laughs> <laughs> or or no, also, or there's, there's a part of the Bible that says when to stone your children, which, in case you didn't know, if you were to say something like fuck Yahweh or however you're supposed to pronounce God's name, then you're supposed to stone your children to death. Also, yeah, you obviously, you pronounce it Jehovah. <laughs> All right. We've talked about this. Jehovah is so bullshit. I can't even begin to no, say man, why. It's one hundred percent Jehovah. <laughs> I witnessed it. Ah, oh, It's spelled with <laughs> Hebrew. I'm oh, sorry. I do. Anyway, uh, yeah. also for you podcast <laughs> listeners, <laughs> if you also want to hear a funny interpretation <laughs> of <laughs> the book of Genesis, you should look at our Crumbs version of it. And our Crumb is a very kinky comic book artist from the 1960s. Let's get and kinky. basically, yeah, he's like the father of dirty art. Yeah. Uh, but he literally, he's a really? comic book artist, so he trained. I thought that was Michelangelo. <laughs> 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 well. How come all of their paintings have penises in them? Like all of them. I mean, I I nude model. It's pretty shit. normal. Yeah, but you don't have a. P- well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> or does she? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, like yeah, whip it, it out. Let's see who's bigger. <laughs> does it make me a bad person? Because I've thought about that before. About like, like people if getting has a penis. People I getting don't think sex. She does. People getting <laughs> sex changes and oh. like, and like I don't know. Like I just don't know how I feel. You about know, it. like. Well, what do you what mean? Do you like, what do you what, not what is, feel? Do you or not want to like call I them? Feel, do you I not want to ca- like? Let's say a dude chops his dick off and wants to be called Mrs. Do you, will you not do that? Would, like, I mean, would you be? Would you feel uncomfortable if, you, like, let's say your ex girlfriend called, like, told you that she used to be a man? Uh huh. Like, would that make you feel any type of way? Have I maybe at have first I for a little her pussy yet? Or like, let's say you had you you had I've sex with her you. We've already had sex, and now she's telling me that she used to be a man. It just yeah. means she I, okay, probably can't bear a child. This is what yeah, would happen. I'm saying, though, but like... Well, all right, no, but, no, but this like, is a good I'm question. This is what would happen. Because I've thought about this no, a lot. Well, like, like, this what, like would I be, like, would I be, like, not open to that, or would I be open to that, or, like... This is what would happen, Michael, okay? I'm right okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would... I would be happy that we've had sex too much for me to be mad at myself for having sex with a m- former dude. And I would justify it in my head as like, oh, she's not. Whatever. It's fine. And I would just be like, whatever. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have fuck a dude. I didn't fuck a dude. I didn't fuck a dude. Oh, my God. She but was what sexy. If- she wasn't a dude. She wasn't a dude. Oh, my and God. Then why like, do you have to convince oh, yourself like that a much? Week, a week See? down the line, I would be like, she used to have a dick. She was a dude before, and like it would sink in, and I would probably be like, "Hey, you know, I like you, but I don't like like you." And that's really, probably, that's probably I'm a little what disappointed in I'm you, not, Zach. I'm, I'm not a good if, person. <laughs> or what if? Or what if you <laughs> like? I at least I would you wouldn't. Try. You wouldn't be able to overcome it. I I wouldn't tell her like, "Oh, fuck you." You know, you're a guy. I would just kind of try and rationalize it, and then as it sunk in, I would probably like. I mean. If you were physically attracted to her in the first place, sh- you probably that means that she did a good job in. Uh, or uh, if you you know if you were physically attracted to her in the first place, that means that. You. N- you would have, never known. So, 
upon learning the information, yes, it could be difficult, but wouldn't you be technically be able to overcome it? Well, again? this is the, what I'm saying. Like, I'd already be committed because I just lied. You know, I went in on that pussy. But the thing is, like, I'd be like, how come you didn't tell me you didn't come? You know, and I'd be like, oh, all this, like, all this stuff would be going through my head and ruining it for me. I mean, she may, might have come. I don't know. But like, <laughs> but like, here's the other thing. All right, so now you a- I'm <laughs> asking that question. Here, here's the here's the next <laughs> level of this. What if you're what if you you're like you and your wife are having tr- problems having kids and you yeah. go to to get someone like get tested or whatever like and you find out she's a man you find out. and she she finds out that she's genetically a man but that he that he she whatever has female genitalia Honestly, so like, like basically, they're like her penis never like descended or his penis. I don't well, know what to if say. In I, if I couldn't tell the difference, like, and she never told me, I. I but I, well, whatever, she didn't know either because like because there that that happens. That like, does not happen. A hundred percent. It does, does not happen. happen, guys. Like the guy, guys. Well, so why no, is it so there, scary? There are there are people who like who for like because there's. Uh, I don't know if it's a genetic. Sexuality is spectral, or, or, or if it's um, gender is spectral. Yeah, but like I don't know if it's um, it has to do with genetics or it has to do with the conditions in the womb, something like that. But there's like that's how hermaphrodites happen, to a, to a, right? To a fair number of people, are they transsexual? Like, no, no, no. They're they're born like they have a XY, uh-huh. but they're like their genitalia never descended so that doesn't like i'm s- no you're talking shit that no, doesn't i'm happen. a hunt i'm a bro you know, if i had my computer available to me i'm 100 percent sure that and you can look it up like if you want but like, but yeah like but let's say but let's say that so let's so say that it's it, let's say that it doesn't happen but let's just, let's just say it's a hypothetical and this did happen do they just like, not touch their all right sorry but they don't have dicks. They have vaginas. Like they don't. Like they never like dig in and like. I'm but sorry. like that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> a, a penis is just an inverted right. vagina. Let's say let's say that it doesn't continue with what you were saying. But yeah, like like how like would like would that make you gay? Does that make you like fucking? No, uh, it doesn't make you gay. No, it doesn't. Or does it? Okay. Make, or like would you still stay no, with her? Like it if doesn't you really like okay, her? Okay, like it does. Of course you, you should. Can, all right, here's the thing about does that make you gay? That phrase. Like, not, there's not. nothing that you can physically do that'll make you gay. Like, being gay is okay, like he you, understands you, you want to yeah. fuck. Yeah. Like, you can suck a dick and not be gay, technically. Yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. But, like, you, but you understand what I'm getting at. It's yeah. Like, would, like, would you have a You're saying what's the... With, with someone who is, like, visually a female uh-huh. in a... Anatomically, respect, but, uh, but, like, well, genetically uh, male. Is it like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and it's, like, Carmen Electra? No. Or whoever not, that girl or, I mean, was. like... Whatever you can make her look however you want, but let's someone say from Miami is walking off the field. Your wife, you know, you're committed to this relationship. Well, I would be mad that, that she that never like told me, and we're married. But this is what I'm saying. Like she doesn't know this. She oh. thinks that she's a girl, but like is she gonna chop off her dick now? She doesn't have a dick. That's oh, like uh, did you miss the whole? No, no. You said that this? it hasn't descended yet, but I'm just saying like yeah. yeah. So it's stuck up there. Her dick is up there, though. It's in there. It's just up okay. in there. <laughs> it's inverted. It's like, inverted. So it's the same. It's the same what thing that she reverts? has. She has. She has a fucking. I we have. have inverted penis. <laughs> yes, you have an inverted about, penis. Well, then what? What about a clitoris, though? That that's not on a penis at all. Yeah, no, but it's like it's inverted. Like if you ever see them like descend, it's like it comes inside out. It's like. What? It's basic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. No, I I understand what you're saying. Like the it's inside, her. I guess a, a vagina is supposed to be like what seven inches deep. Well, I'm just, just how big like penises are. Yeah, but like <laughs> pa- like a large part of your penis is also like like in the skin, kind of like like it's weird because you can get like penis enlargement surgery and they basically like cut your skin and they move your scrotum back mm-hmm. so that you have a longer penis because oh it's like partially. Oh, okay. it's weird. I, I don't see. I don't oh, like I see. It's like they move that part back. Yeah. So that there's more, like, but that's not a lot of space. It's more than you think, because oh, really? it's actually, yeah, like more of it is like there's a significant portion that's like in there. You know so this, like that's what that's what a lot of porn stars end up doing. You know this, yeah. this makes me think of uh, there's this there's this girl, this lady, um, she used to be a man and now she's fighting in MMA, the w- female bracket. Uh, I heard this on like the Joe Rogan podcast, like. 
Um, do you think that they should be allowed to do that? I have no idea. That's hmm. really, 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 yeah, really, 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 really tough question. Because, like, it, the thing is, like, she really still, tough. she doesn't have the testosterone anymore, but she still has the bigger hands, and she still has, like, the hips that men have, which, like, affects, like, how you fight, and, you know, there's all sorts of, like, how physical tall differences. How tall is she? I don't know, actually, but yeah, but this gets and she's like kicking ass. She's beating the shit out of ladies, left and right. Huh? But it's also like weird too, because like at the, at the same token, you could argue that like there, like there's females who are like way huger, and like you know what I mean. Like there's naturally big disparities in between, like physical. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like see, that. Well, w- that females, like you know see that I mean? brings up another good that question. outlier could have arisen naturally as well. Well, yeah. you're saying. that 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 yeah, that's Basically, true. But like this yeah. brings up another good question so is when is it OK for men to hit females if and if never is that is it never? Well, is it? I, I don't know. Let's ask I, Allie. I, I, Let's ask Allie first. OK, because Allie is the resident female. Well, I would say that I. It's weird because. If he hits me harder than I can hit him, then that's. That's like, come on, man, it's, it's not fucking fair. You know, I don't know. Like that. Well, but you're saying when. But like, I'm I mean, the thing is like, OK, if I was fighting someone who I could hit harder, like that's fair. Like if it's a dude. Yeah, but so um, I'm just saying. But so you're obviously saying could you a man and a woman get in a fight? When is it justified? For, like, justified. For a, a mi- like, or is it never? Like, that's yeah. I would say there it's justified if like ass, if, you know, a woman is trying to like attack the shit out of you. Yeah. You see that? But. I feel like she has to have like a crossbow or like a, a Dude, baseball bat. I think, or you're, something. I think you're underestimating women because they are like, wi- like they're what women if she's who on PCP? Karate. <laughs> there are women who do like mixed martial arts. You yeah. know, like yeah, they're, like it's I could tr- I could find tricks. a woman in the city who would beat the shit out of you and me. Yeah, at the same time. Totally. Like, you know what I mean? Because like I've seen like it's I've pretty wa- rare like, though. I've watched. Or I mean, it's not necessarily rare because like. All right, let's all right, let's back up. Let's back up, Michael. Allie, when would it what guy would you allow to hit you? (laughs) I mean, I wouldn't allow any guy to hit me, but it doesn't mean that he's not gonna hit me. Well (laughs) if okay, let's say you like took some PCP Uh and you had a crossbow Uh and like you were trying to like assassinate Michael and like you don't remember any of this, but like the next day you were told Michael hit you when you were on PCP with a crossbow, would you be like all right, whatever. Or would you be like, motherfucker, I'm in the hospital. Like, what? You know? Oh, you're saying w- I was on PCP and had a crossbow and went at Michael. Correct. And then he hit me. Mm-hmm. And then I was in the hospital. Yeah. No, I would be like, whatever. Yeah. I was on PCP and had a yeah. crossbow. I'm sending a bitch to <laughs> the <happens>. hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens <laughs> when you go on PCP yeah, and a crossbow like <laughs> in the area. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad we deci- dissected that issue. Yes. But yeah. But yeah, I've just been thinking about that a lot, and I d- and like I don't know. I'm I'm evolving on issues because I feel like that's the way you really like change your mind uh-huh. on things. Like you know what I mean? It's just like yeah. when I change. Just from saying like your mind's changed as to your mind actually being changed. Yeah. Like when I was like you know, I guess deciding to be an atheist. It didn't like it wasn't like. I'm right. an atheist. Right. It was like an accumulation well, of evidence. Are you an atheist or an agnostic? Um, well, because you're an, a- an agnostic is the one that's like you can't know right. if there is no God, right? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> honestly, on, like it's kind honestly, of irrelevant. It, it's it's kind of weird because it's a category. Like I know a lot of people made this uh, this point, but it's a category for not believing in something. Yeah. So it's like you know whatever put me into whatever categories. Like well, I guess I'm an a Santaist too. Well, and an I mean, a like leprechaunist. The way I too, see it, you know? the way I see it is every scientist should be an agnostic about everything. But the I mean, thi- like, because here's the thing: we were talking about we were talking about this whole notion of falsifiability. I actually everything think that, okay, everything should be falsifiable, right? So if it's not falsifiable, it's pseudoscience and therefore not true. However, if it is falsifiable, it's only uh, it's only you know waiting to be falsified. So anything can be disproven. The problem with that 
if you're doing that in an absolute fashion, nothing is p- true. Nothing is defined. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you could step out of bed and fall through to the center of the earth. You know what I mean? Which is what quantum mechanics says we should do. But anyways, I'm just saying, like, you know, that's the problem. With I was actually I was talking to my friend Keysan about this the other day. We actually got in a fight about this because, like, like. I like Keysan. Yeah, she's cool. Like, we got in a fight and, like. Because she was, like, we were talking about Buddhism, and, like, it started off me saying, like, Buddhist monks are OCD, and she got really pissed off. Oh, and, wait. Like, Is she I, a religion major? No, no, no. But, like, it divulged into, like, her saying that she was more agnostic than me because she doesn't think all religions are bullshit, where I do think all religions are bullshit. And, like, I my mean. point, like, her point was that, like, she believes the institutions are bullshit, but yeah. the people themselves aren't for believing in it, you know. And, like, I was kind of saying, like, okay, anyone can have their own spiritual path. But if your spiritual path is following the Bible, then you are consciously deciding to be a part of that institution. institution. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, you but know. I'd, I'd like That's I the I difference between esoteric Christianity and then Christianity. Well, I mean, the but thing is, like, to sorry. me, it's I like... I interrupted it's Michael. To me, well, I, cool. I'm just, just to elaborate on... I'm just saying, like, uh, to me, the people who aren't calling themselves the Orthodox Christians, so to speak, mm-hmm. are just less fucked up than the Orthodox Christians, but there's still, like, a level of fucked upness. Now, she was saying, that mean, makes me prejudiced against all Christians, and I was saying, like, I'm not necessarily, like, against... Like, I don't hate Christians just because they're Christian... I just think they're wrong about it. And she was saying, like, well, that means every Christian I meet, I'm going to have this notion of, like, you know, condescension and disrespect. And I was saying, like, do you know what it's like to be Jewish in the United States of America where every single person you meet is a Christian and disagrees with you about everything? You don't have to be an agnostic to feel that way. You just have to be not Christian. Yeah, I can understand that, but I can also understand her point because yeah. I, I, there was a small time that I was like, yeah, Christianity, it's bad and stuff, uh-huh. and it's leading. But now I'm more like of the position that, they, like, it's pretty hard to deny that there is a lot of culture in religion. Like, yeah. I feel like, like, I would go to a Catholic, you know, like service just to look at it because well it looks i mean i agree amazing, with you, you know, know i, I mean? agree like, with that man like so you've been like to my past- like the yeah. anthropologist well, of it though you know that i agree with that like i Those you've been to my passover seders I, that's all i'm saying like yeah you know i'm a cultural jew but the thing is when people start believing in that stuff like like basing their philosophy yeah. off of jesus or Muhammad begin. or moses you know, like you have all kinds of crazy shit because like what happens is uh, you have this paradigm of logic that can't be disproven. It's unfalsifiable. Yeah. Yeah. It's this right. So and that's the definition of pseudoscience. Right. And the problem with that is you have a philosophy that cannot like that can't ever change. So there's nothing you can do to logically sift through it. Exactly. And like. You know, you have these Evolve. people who it's who will just like put themselves in this circular logic that can't mm-hmm. ever change, so they can it's just like justify. It's like a fallacy. It's a logical fallacy. Ex- they can justify any kind of bullshit they want, and it do- and it just doesn't fit in with my scientific outlook of the world. Exactly. But um, I think that one thing that that like religion has going for it that you're not like putting into that you're not considering enough. I think it's that like the non-literalist the people who take who you know they don't take the bible to be like literal in every sense they acknowledge human error and they look for you know the strengths of like the teachings and like they look and they don't have such a like a rigid view of the bible that they you know that they don't they're not like oh we live in a young earth right. that's 6,000 years old. Like, the right. ones that are willing to, like... Like, there's a lot of Christians who have, like, reasonable viewpoints well, that was her about, th- about, you know, the religion. That was her point. You know, that like, her point was, my sister's a Christian, but she doesn't go to church, and she's, like, all this and that. And, like, exactly what you're saying, like, that, you know, she doesn't take it literally. And, like, the thing is, to me, 
they're just taking a slightly more agnostic view of religion, right? However, yeah, however, they're not entirely agnostic. They're just being slightly better than the orthodox is all I'm saying. Like, And I think that that can be healthy. I mean, it it's more healthy than being orthodox, but I think it's less healthy than being agnostic. You see, I, I don't necessarily think that it's necessarily more healthy to be agnostic than it is to be a Christian who has, like, reasonable world mm-hmm. views that's not, like... Like, if you're a Christian and you don't hate gay people... I think that's just spirituality, that, then. Like, because there's a, there's, a, there's a brand of Christianity that believes that... Or a branch that believes that everyone goes to heaven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... It was just like a reasonable. Mormons? <laughs> no, 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 not Mormons. Well, I'm pretty sure Mormons. I think don't believe Mormons that. believe everyone goes to heaven. Just to s- like there's like five different heavens. So depending uh, on how good you are, is how good of the heaven you go but to. There's a, but there's a lot of imp- interpretations of like Christianity. But is that more of like a spirituality reasonable. kind of thing then? I don't know. Like I don't know. Like the d- like I'm like for me personally. Like I don't like. You know Christianity. I don't like the God of the Bible. Like I'm like it's just not like he's not the type of guy that I would invite over <laughs> to do a podcast with. <laughs> Yahweh, like, like Yahweh, Yahweh would be here. He would be like, "Oh, you guys aren't being." He'd be talking over us and everything. <laughs> You're not being chauvinistic enough. You guys yeah. need to, to you know. This is how you need to, you know, manage your slaves and <laughs> manage your race. Yeah, and I like I and like the the other thing too is like, like there's a couple parts in the Bible where God hardens people's hearts. Yeah, so that he can <laughs> punish the them. Maybe and I'm just what like, kind of what the fuck? Shit? <laughs> like, it's just like, and God, and God hardens Pharaoh's heart <laughs> to make him not want to give know. up the I know. give up the Jews. And he's just like, you're just like. What the actual? He's toying fuck? with them. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, he hardens their heart to what? He, hard- yeah, like, he hardens like, like okay. So Moses goes to Pharaoh and is like, "Let my people go." And he's like, "No." And he's like, "Please." And he's like, "No." And like so, like Moses goes off into the desert and like is like, "Fuck." Moses Pharaoh is being a dick, and he like goes to the Mount Sinai and goes to the burning bush, and God's like, "Moses, I am Yahweh." I have brought you here to protect your people. Anyways, so he's like, so God is like, I want you to go back and, you know, talk to Pharaoh, get him to free your people. However, I am going to harden his heart to make it even more difficult for you. And then I'm going to have plagues. So Pharaoh will eventually say it's okay. And Moses is like, all right, that's cool. And like the whole time, I, you know, like we're think you got to be thinking like why harden his heart? Why how can you harden his heart in the first place? Because <laughs> the Bible says God cannot affect free will, and yet he's hardening Pharaoh's heart. Yeah, is that, that, that is, is confusing. That, is that yeah. just one of his other, tricks? Like it's, it's a it's thing? a logical <laughs> fallacy again. Like and the other thing too to is it. like when God p- kills people, do they go straight to hell? Because like all the people <laughs> in Sodom and Gomorrah, like, I always wondered that. Like, when he flooded the world and shit. Like, did he just send you guys straight to hell? Like, you don't get like another, like a second chance. Like, what the fuck? Like, like I feel like there was like more reasonable ways <laughs> to go about flooding, this than flooding every little li- living thing on the planet to yeah. like. Yeah. To get people I, I to really act better. Remember the Bill Cosby record we were listening to earlier? Yeah. Where he's like, I will destroy the world! I think that probably <laughs> peaked the, that's, the track. That's God. That was a quote by God. I will destroy the world, end quote. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, that's kind of... That's kind of my problem with the religion. Like you, you're basing your your philosophy off this book that is so utterly bullshit. Like when you can and just like, start and from and scratch. And the thing is, like, he's still getting own. mad at me for saying that it was bullshit. You know, because and like she was like, you don't know that all religions are bullshit. I'm like, okay, tell me, name a religion, and we'll see. Why if do it's you bullshit. think Buddhist is? <laughs> why do you think Buddhism is bullshit? Well, here's the thing about Buddhism. I like Buddhism. Here's but the thing. I mean, obviously, or Zenism. It, it has its it has its issues. Well, that's like this is why she was getting mad because I was talking shit about Buddhism. You know, 
and she's ethnic. Well, she'd probably hit, if she hears this, she'd probably be mad like that I'm talking about this. But um, she's ethnically Buddhist. She was not raised Buddhist, but like her dad is ethnically Buddhist, which is like a thing. And so, oh, her but, dad um, um, was her dad was raised Buddhist. He's ethnically Buddhist, but they're Christian. They're Korean, so that's kind of how it. So works. they're culturally. Like well, they're just ethnically Buddhist. It's c- it's a weird mean? thing. I don't fully understand it, to be quite yeah. honest. But anyways, um, so like we were having this conversation about Buddhist monks and about uh-huh. how I thought that they were OCD. And she got mad because like she's saying like religion's a philosophy and it's not necessarily full of shit. And like like the thing about Buddhism that I kind of have an issue with, like maybe it's a little, you know, unfair of me, but like... My problem with Buddhism is there's l- so many white people who are like just like I'm a Buddhist now because Buddhism is all about nonviolence and vegetarian. so that's your problem with Buddhism well, or with just these like, white people? I just like I'm just so like sick like resentful like pointlessly resentful towards them because like um, it's just like I don't know. You I know, just Leonard bothers Cohen me was when a Jew and a Buddhist. Yeah, there's actually a lot of I have a friend who's like that. Like, uh, there's it's actually a pretty big thing. Like Jews who become Buddhist. Yeah, like but they're but they're still they they still claim they're like my religion is Judaism. I don't need a right, new religion. Well, my spirituality is Zenism. Well, Buddhism is kind of interesting because like some Buddhists don't believe that there's a god, and some Buddhists believe that Buddha was a godlike figure. So it's kind of like a weird thing. So like, but the thing is, that's not yeah, even I the important wha- to part to me. Yeah. So What's like, I kind of like the idea of Buddhism in that they're, you know, they're like the first atheists, really, and they just built a yeah. philosophy on yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And like, like that's yeah. kind of that's kind of cool to me. But at the same time, they eventually develop what I was talking about, this paradigm. And like, this is perfect fitting into like what I'm saying it has nothing to do with God even it's more to do with the fact that you have this like this philosophy that cannot be disproven with anything because it it encompasses itself you know it's a circular logic that just cannot be destroyed but um that's why you don't like Buddhism uh, but here's the thing that I do like about Buddhism that like is not like common in like monotheistic religions is that it doesn't have this type of absolutism that like Christianity has where Buddhism it has like a lot of flexibility like you don't you can be an atheist you can be a Christian and a Buddhist like you like it's just basically like it's like an add on some advice from a pretty wise guy on how to live your life (laughs) and be good to other people so like in that sense like and maybe I'm misunderstanding Buddhism, but from the the impression that I have from my limited knowledge is that like it's it's pretty you know lax, flexible, and it's just like some good advice. You might think that the advice is horseshit, and that you know maybe you know that was it like the eightfold path. Or it's whatever like the is integrity like of the advice is is always just really good. It's like when I would go to yoga and and we use. We'll we'll just talk about things that that symbolize like such good things that no one could argue with. Like we t- there are words for things like lo- like knowing your chakras and loving yourself and just like how how chakras are sources of you know power in your body. It's just everything seems about self empowerment, but, uh, but here's which th- is really just. But uh, I don't know. The thing about it is like okay so. For instance, this whole notion of being without want, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And like that on can be a good thing, like not wanting so much. But at the same time, if you're wanting nothing, you have no ambition besides to just stay where you are. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying though. Like I feel like like but I feel like, you know, taking what's good from it, you know what I mean? Like you can it's just a philo- like it's more like a philosophy than necessarily like a religion which is cool well sometimes uh, th- that's but, the, but, yeah, the but there's different degrees to it the basically thing is, like, like buddhism isn't gonna go away no matter what like nobody's gonna be able to falsify buddhism you know this is true like buddhism to me is on par with tarot cards like it's it's the same kind of logic now there's a lot more followers of buddhism a lot more rational ones the cool thing about buddhism is they have this concept of ahimsa which 
is nonviolence. What's offensa? It oh. means nonviolence. Like, and uh, you might have heard of the Jains who took ahimsa to the nth level where they don't even, like, step on ants. They actually look where they walk, you know, so they mm. don't step on an ant and accidentally kill it, which is, like, crazy. But, you know, but the thing is, like, that's a cool thing about Buddhism. They never vo- get into war. But that's the thing is, you can't make that your only criteria. Like, for me, like, like I don't know. I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, religion at its heart is, like, a paradigm that can't be falsified, which is not scientific. Religion at yeah. its heart is a pseudoscience. Yeah, but, like, but the thing is, like, although it's a pseudoscience, I think that, like, the conversation doesn't need to be that re- is religion wrong or right. Right, I feel if like it's a pseudoscience. Like the, the, like, like, the question, like, you're mixing in two points. You're, like, you're like Buddhism isn't, like correct with its negative because i don't think that buddhism is negative i don't, I don't feel, I like, feel it like it has negative, negative impacts well, i feel like 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 i don't feel like people like you know being a buddhist is somehow like harming society i feel like being like a fundamentalist christian might be harmful to society well like, i mean being a like, fundamentalist you know I mean? buddhist like there are fundamentalist buddhists yeah, th- and this is true there's, th- like, there's yeah, different levels there's but like, I feel like have you heard about the maoist buddhist bad like the Maoist Buddhists out in Southeast Asia who are causing all... C- anyway, it's not... I don't know enough okay. about it. To bu- okay. But I'm just saying, like, there's there's sects of every religion with craziness. And I feel like the only, like, way you can predict the level of craziness is the level of orthodoxy. Well, then maybe Buddhism is the most mild orthodoxy. I mean, it's the less... I mean, Buddhism is good because it... Like I said, it predi- preaches nonviolence. It's the most ambiguous one, too, I think. It perhaps, perhaps. But at the same time, I think it's a form of control that shouldn't exist. I think people who decide to live a life of asceticism are living a life without, you know, meaning. You know, they're just claiming there's a meaning because there's nothing, like, influencing them. So all they can do is look inward. Whereas I think... It's a very selfish notion to say, oh, because I'm not wearing clothes and I'm not, you know, having sex or I'm not doing this and I'm not mm-hmm. doing that. I can look inward better than you. you well, know? it's just I a meditative. Know, it's like it's like um, eliminating your life of distractions. It's just a technique. I, I just have a problem with these people who think they're more enlightened than you because I well, don't who, think how that's do possible. you know that that's how they think, Zach? Because yeah, that's what, what, what their job, the like, point? they're aesthetics. they're just trying to, like... What if it's just for themselves? themselves? Well, yeah, okay, like they are. All right, you're, you're right. But, th- like, this kind of, like, goes in tune with, like, this whole problem I have with prayer. And, like, this whole idea that, like, oh, you can pray and God's going to, like, listen to you and be like, let me stop all the shit I'm doing and, like pay attention to this one dude who's like praying like i really want to fuck my neighbor yeah, this week yeah but you could also and argue that he operates help me do on like this time scale that is so beyond the scope of ours like yeah, yeah but i don't want to go okay to i've heard yeah, sorry. That, but i've heard that theory like oh god works in mysterious ways which is just basically the argument for like i don't know how to respond so god right. figured it out you know like well, you, you can be like how come like if in the Bible it says like frogs have blue bellies, right? And then one day you like grabbed a frog and you're like, look, it's green, it's not blue. And they were like, well, you know, God works in mysterious ways, you know, maybe <laughs> He meant that was blue, and like, you know what I mean? Like, you can say li- that about anything, like. Sure. Okay. But yeah. But so you're yeah. saying if he I, stops. Oh. Uh, you wanna go? You go for it. I, I, Zach, you were saying that you don't get how he can just stop. Everything in well, I'm just person. saying, I think it's, what, I, what I'm saying about, like, that and asceticism is I think it's selfish to think that God gives a shit about your prayer, you know, like, God, like, these people, they're, they're sitting, they're just talking to themselves, and they think God, the all-knowing creator of the universe who, who made everything, who, who's, who installed the Big Bang and set evolution into track, is thinking, uh, is like, oh, this guy wants to buy a new truck. You know, so maybe I should help him with his job. Like, no, God doesn't fucking care about you and your fucking worldly problems. Like, mm-hmm. you need to move on with your life. Well, well that's what b- you see. Buddhism this, helps. Is, this is the thing, though. Like, like, I'm just trying to get to the point that, like, 
not all religion is like is basically like a problem that they like you can be within a religion and be have like pers like perfectly reasonable viewpoints. Like well, yeah, like of course. even if like you're saying that like you know like there's gonna be sex and this and that, and I'm like if you eliminated every single religion from the face of the planet right now, there would still be crazy people. Making crazy divisions, you know, well, yeah. to divide Factions. us. And, and, I'm not saying they like, would. What what I'm like, I, they just wouldn't be based on religion. Yeah, We'd still find a way to blow each well, other up and yeah. do terrible things. Well, I'm not saying another. that just because you're religious, you're bad or anything like that. I'm just saying like religion isn't a good philosophy to have because it's unfalsifiable. You know, so the problem is not that like people have a spiritual path that's religious in nature. Because the thing is, like, okay, so, like, it, for instance, Tarzan is religious, right? Yeah. But, like, he's a good friend of mine, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be, like, Tarzan is dumb or not, you know what I mean? Because he's smart. Yeah. He's not dumb, you yeah. know? But because th- the thing is, there's pl- I'm sure there's shit that's wrong with me. I'm just not smart enough to notice it is all. You know what I mean? That you, oh, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? Like, and well, it's just, you don't call it religion. Like, I, honestly, when someone tells me they're religious, I'm not thinking like, oh, this person's dumb. I'm just thinking like, oh, there's something I disagree with. It's to me, it's the same thing as if someone's like, I am a libertarian. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, I'm, n- I'm not thinking like, oh, you're stupid. you're an asshole. You know, yeah. I'm just thinking like, oh, I happen to disagree with your viewpoint on austerity. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, why yeah. should I, you know, like, yeah. that's all it is. Like. There's just Honestly, the strongest religions, they have like good like they have like there's the good there's pretty good reasons why they didn't like disappear off the face of the earth. If your religion was that like there are gods on top of Mount Olympus who are like fucking with people's lives, like as soon as you make it to the top of Mount Olympus, like, <laughs> like yeah, you're yeah. like, All right, yeah. something's wrong here. So like <laughs> like there like you know, there's are there are religions who have been like falsified, you know what I mean? And it's just like these, like the religions we have left are basically like the evolution. Because like as people got, you know, like farther and farther and society progressed and progressed and knowledge became more readily available, like there had to be more and more... um, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, had, I, I, had to be I, took, like <laughs> I, I didn't mean to kill your train of thought. <laughs> better and better gods, and better, more include, like you know, like where you couldn't be disproven. Change, yeah, like like the trends of like gods change with time, and like the qu- their qualities, their inclusiveness, their exclusiveness, mm-hmm. like it. Changes their mystic, with time. their mysticism, where you yeah. can't exactly. So oh, like let me, f- now I can get to that mountain and see if he's actually like there. the later religions, like, are, they're, they're just really solid, man. Like, like, Buddhism is just, like, really solid. Like, I mean, Buddhism Judaism, is like, the like religion really I can most get behind besides Judaism. Religion. Ditto. But, like, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's, there's a, there's a level of, like, mysticism, you know, like, that, you know, the Buddha was so wise and, you know, all-knowing and perfect, but, like, you know, that's not to say that he's like that he was, you know, perfect or that his everything he ad- advised is, you know, absolute truth. You know, it's just saying that like like the way I view it, it just seems like, you know, it's just like and like a like a way you can view the world and, and better yourself. Yeah, I mean, like some people are able to take it and use it for positive things. Like, I'm not saying that it's totally I mean, Einstein like Einstein was a Christian, wasn't he? No, Einstein. Jew. Are you fucking? <laughs> or wasn't it? He I was, or dude. Jew. He was so that. Jewish. Like, <laughs> or, or like. Or let me let me tell you how Jewish Einstein was. Okay. Maybe he was one of he I was one of the founders of the Zionist was, movement. He was a Judeo he was, Judy Christian. He was so he was Jewish. A, he left Germ. He left he Germany religious. when the Nazis yeah. got into power, and he was invited <laughs> to be the first prime minister of Israel. Wow. But he, t- he turned it down. Did, bad, how did he man. feel about Israel? Well, he he um, it was kind of a weird situation because like he w- obviously was a Zionist as every you know politically active Jew in Europe was at the mm-hmm. time because the Zionist movement at that time was basically on par with the Black Panther movement in America in the '60s. You know, it was kind of a mm-hmm. necess- necessity. You know what I mean? It was before like it got radicalized by all kinds of people. You know, and like. Uh, 
And but when Israel got formed and they asked him to be the president, you know, he's like, I'm like 70 and, <laughs> you know, I am a scientist, not a politician. <laughs> so like his viewpoint was like he wasn't against Israel. I think he was a little skeptical of it. But at the same time, like during then, like they were just like, this is what we have, you know, like yeah. shit got real like a few years ago. We need exactly like that's why you can never argue the Israel argument with a with like a holocaust survivor it's just well you could i, I guess mean you could like have you heard of norman yeah. finkelstein um no i think you've told me about him. this guy his both of his parents were in the holocaust and he is a avid supporter of the palestinian people because mm-hmm. uh he does not you know he does like the thing is yes the holocaust happened and yes that sucked but that does not justify oppression right you know ever you know, that's it's like saying, oh, we got a genocide. So now we get to genocide. Like, no, it's stupid. No. Like, you can't just justify shit because something bad happened to you. You know, and here's the thing about Israel. I think it's kind of weird because like Israel is probably currently b- pr- b- not like let's exclude Net Benjamin Net- Netanyahu for a second. The president of Israel uh-huh. or prime minister rather like Israel right now. The government there is as secular as that region has ever been. And to me, that's a good thing. Okay. But well, yeah. it's, also, it's also a theocracy that's ran by my people, well, Ju- the Jewish how people. Well, doesn't that contradict with the definition of secular? Exactly. But like, um, well, it does. But I'm just saying like. Oh, you're saying it's as Israel secular as ha- that area has ever been. Exactly. Like okay. Palestine has been so theocratic okay. <laughs> for its history. Like it has been run off religion for as long as it's been a place I see pr- your point pretty now. much you know so but i mean you know israel we don't even so like when i was talking to Kison about that religion thing and we were like getting in an argument and stuff i'm just like t- saying this to move the podcast along yes uh <laughs> By the way, this is the Blind Math Podcast with Absolute Zero. I, blind th- math I just thought of Madame the Dubois. most awesome name for the podcast. What? <laughs> Two Jews and a nigger. <laughs> 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 Allie's not a Jew. She's kind of Jewish. Can I be a Jew? She, you're you're uh, pretty. Wait. She knows a, She knows like so much Yiddish. Yay, like it's I'm not. In the <laughs> Uh, so wait, you're, Jew- not, you're not Jewish. Should we call it, if we call uh, it so? It, like, it, I mean, if we call it two Jews and a nigger, like we're gonna get a lot more views. But <laughs> just because, like, people are gonna be like, <laughs> like what? Like, wait, how are you gonna that, spell nigger? Racial slurs or but nigga? Now, but okay, now. there's no. All right, can we? All right, let's. Let, I'm sorry. What were no, you gonna no, say? No, no, no. Oh no, I was just gonna say. Now I think Ali's a terrible person because she makes so many jukes. I know, right? I figured that she was just <laughs> Jewish because of how much she wrote. Well, you maybe that, that makes you because prejudiced I for a su- No, no, you're right. I, I thought she was Jewish, exactly. but like, and I'm Jewish, so I, I mean, I can tell. Everyone you introduced <laughs> me to is Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you That's guys not talk true. about your you, you guys talk about your Jew gold and how to, <laughs> and how to groom your horns. I used to have a necklace with like silver on it and i had to stop See? wearing it because people were like <laughs> like oh there's your jew gold <laughs> but I, I i don't know which was silver if we can't call it t- okay by the way two jews and a nigger like t- that's bad that's a great name let's call it <laughs> 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 that is a fantastic n- no like i don't know like i was when i was talking to nasi about this like it divulged into such like a heated argument like we kind of we kind of have are like taking a break from being friends with each other no way (laughs) um got spanked by the way it is 14 to 41 like this was like a ass raping like literally like you just like they died man like they're (laughs) like they had to go to the emergency room (laughs) and get ass stitches you know what that is (laughs) <laughs> Do not ass stitches. Say. Tell me about ass, ass stitches. Ass stitches. It's <laughs> when you uh, ass stitches. Telling all they business. Get on the court and be their own witness. Do you see the perpetrator? Yeah, I'm right here. Fuck around. Get the whole label sent up for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, that was hilarious. <laughs> Take these chips away from me. Okay. Well, yeah. Turn them. Turn them around. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Eat more. <laughs> I want the chips. Batten her up. Give me the chips. Batten her up. Are there up. any chips? Man, you fucking ate all my chips, cracker. <laughs> they were 
are in front of me. You can tell me to turn them around after they're all gone. Or, I need well, to, there's one left. I but need no, to buy you like, new chips. I'm having like a serious identity crisis with her. Like I like with me. Yeah, <laughs> because they're like you're not Jewish. Now I have to like She's reformulate. Cuban. Are you really? What? Yeah, I'm Cuban, and I'm half Cuban, half, half. Italian and half. Irish, New York. Half. So, but all of those ethnicities equate to a Catholic. Oh. Uh. Which is the most Jewy of the Christians. <laughs> you know, the, you know the really thing is. about Catholicism that I hate so much. I know, I hate it. That, <laughs> you don't oh, have to no, tell no, no, me. No, not 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 the actual religion. Actually, people's view, where it's just like, like they're not Christians. Like that pisses right. me that off. They're Catholic. That, that, they're that not they're Catholic. This pisses me off because every time I talk, like I, when I was in high school, I would I be like, like, "Do you know I what would, Christian means?" Yeah, like, like it would piss me off because I would call Catholics Christian, and they're like, "We're not Christian." I'm like, "Dude, I'm Jewish. You're Christian to me. Yeah. You believe, do yeah. you, is Jesus the Messiah? You're a Christian. Yeah, yeah it's, that that's basically. true. <laughs> that, that, that is it. <laughs> the end. I mean, I guess they're. It is more speci- it is Christian general in a general sense, yeah, but, but it's, it's more a denomination. Speci- like yeah. you're not saying that like well, I guess there are people but I guess who the say thing that Mormons are Christ- Christians. <laughs> I guess the other so the other every other sect of Christianity came after Catholicism because it's when the Church of England broke away. So that's why the like the Roman Catholics yeah, still mean, call themselves like we're well, we're Catholic. But yeah, so that's but how like, I feel Greek like Orthodox. That well, was that was during Catholicism. Yes, and but like it's Russian it's Orthodox. actually pretty it's pretty much similar to Catholicism. They were parallel. They're yeah. Parallel. Isn't there like an Ethiopian church that was like also Jewish? Like, oh, you're talking no, no. There's like a like like a Christian faith. There was weird. Like I don't know. Learning about like Christianity and like like right at the the beginning, it's just so weird because to me it's crazy. That like a hundred years after Jesus supposedly died, they're debating at whether Jesus was the Son of God, and <laughs> like, like honestly, like this is like a heated debate, and like like people come up to me like you don't you don't believe that Jesus walked the earth and that he was the Son of God and did miracles, and I'm just like, why Dude, should I? <laughs> this is what I'm saying like, about religion. Like you can't. You can't like argue with them. You can't. Years after, there, th- was, there was like, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, theology is so in, oh val- like, so untrue. Like, there's no theology that is, like, completely factual. It's always, like, somewhat speculative. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like every mean, person I've like ever that. heard evaluate the Bible has been speculating at some point. They're like, the Bible says this, which, by the way, we translated and I'm going to, like, say what I think about this now. Like, nobody has a factual thing about the Bible. It's that, always... That points... Yeah. That, that's and, like, that the thing is... Made, I think. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, like, I it's know. it's just hard for me to, like, to deal with that, you know? Like, it's always so out there. It's... Shut up. It's oh, we got text assistances. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just feel bad because whenever I get in this conversation with some people, it turns into something bad. Like they get mad at me or something like like I've oh, had so many like my life has been full of like religious conversations that have ruined friendships. Like oh, really? when I was in like m- well, elementary I don't get school. Why, you and when I w- why did it have to escalate so much? Well, it, there were other things like towards the end of it. Like I brought up the fact that. <laughs> I guess uh, I brought up. <laughs> I brought up. Remember <laughs> when I told? All right, Michael. Remember that I, I told Michael the story. I guess I'll say it for the podcast. Like, like I, me and Cece uh, were like, kind of like, uh, like Dang. casually se- having sex, and oh, um, and I, I kind of was into her. Like I was into her, so I told her, uh, you know, like I don't want to keep casually having sex if we we can't do anything. Be like, you know actually like i can't put you on lockdown yeah. because uh you know it's too hard on me but i do like you as a friend so let's just not have sex anymore and we'll just be friends because like she is a great friend like she drove me to the hospital when i was sick and like yeah. she cooks me I, food I and like she's a great friend like so i was like all right we're gonna do this right and literally right after i said that we had this conversation she 
told me that she was tired and wanted to take a nap and cuz uh she had to do a bunch of work later so she wanted to take a nap and I was like and we were at my apartment I was like okay just go sleep on my bed mm-hmm. and she and I was like oh you know I I'm going to be in this other room now that you're on my bed and <laughs> she was like oh well you can just come in the bed with me and I was like we fucking just said we just said yeah. that we were not going to do that like we just had to like and you know she was like oh okay and like Late, you know, I just kind of like ignored it and I just like started playing my music in the other room like usual. Mm-hmm. And like, like we had the conversation later. I was like, why did, you, why did you do that? Like, we just talked about this. Like, you know, like it was, you know, you're tempting me. I almost said yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like <laughs> and like, she was like, oh, well, some guys like they don't get turned on by that. They don't have a high libido. And I'm like, some but guys uh, don't get turned on with, with spooning. That is <laughs> fucking bullshit. Like, I, I, I and I went and I, I, I talked to Michael. I talked to like a bunch of guy friends, and I was like, "Do you get turned on by this?" And they're like, "Yes." She's like, "Well, I knew." Uh, she said that she had a guy who didn't get aroused by that, and I'm like, "Man, he wasn't. I was gay. I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> a unique situation, but like, I feel like as a rule of thumb, spooning." I feel like I don't know. I can't speak for girls, but I, I no, would say yeah. that it gets both parties aroused, does it not? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, if it's like, and especially if it's in that same day, that same time frame. Yeah, and going. like the thing was, I I got really mad, like, because like this was at the end of this conversation, it came up, and it, we were both kind of yelling at each other already. So oh, it got, so you brought that up, and and like <laughs> it was a bad idea to bring it up. <laughs> 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 and like. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and she was like, "Are you calling me a liar?" And I was like, "No, you're not a liar." Like, I just think, and she's like, "If you're calling me a liar, we shouldn't be friends anymore." And like, I was like, "Fuck!" Like, this is getting bad. And like, so I was like, "Okay." And like, I was like walking out of, getting out of her car, and I was like, and I looked back, and I was like, "No, see, you're not. I don't think you're a liar. I just think you stretch the truth a little bit there, and you're, you know." And, like, I closed the door, and she was like, that's bullshit, and slam, like, and, like, I walked upstairs, and, like, I was like, fuck, I should not have slammed the door on her, and I, like, immediately texted her, like, sorry I slammed the door on you, you know, you can be mad at me if you want, it's just, you know, you betrayed my trust a little bit is all, like, because, like, I don't know. When did I feel she like betray maybe your I, maybe trust? I'm maybe I'm wrong, but, huh? When did she betray your trust? It's just like I was tr- I was like opening up to her and being like, you know, I'm in. Like, oh, you know what like I mean? this I was is saying like, you know, it's hard for me to say like, hey, girl, I'm like, I really. Yeah. I yeah. really want you to be on luck. Like that's like yeah. I can t- like I tell girls I like them all the time. But like actually saying like, hey, yeah, I don't like, want you to have sex with anybody else like that. That's the level of control. Yeah, no, like, that's, you know um, what I mean? That's not that's a, a vulnerability. Yeah, that's exactly. That's an emotional like, vulnerability. You have to reveal to someone. Exactly. And then, like, right afterwards, she, like, tried to tempt me into going against that, that's which... Kind of mean. It, it, well, I mean, like, or the thing is, like, I don't blame her that much for it, is the thing. Yeah, like, I don't I, think she did it maliciously. I, yeah, I don't think she was trying to I, hurt I me or nothing. Or I think I get a... No, nah, she was 10. Totally trying to hurt you. She's like, I'm just gonna fuck with you. Right. <laughs> 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 She's like, you have to like picture her over like a fucking cauldron with like bubbles and green nah, shit for whatever nah, that's, reason. That's not <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> Zach, <laughs> let me double, fuck double with his of trouble. Put one toad into the bubble. What does magic rhyme? <laughs> How the fuck does that happen? Like Every time you got to do magic, it needs to. Like, it's like goddamn. Like God it's like I want. That's I why hip hop is the to devil. Be in I <laughs> pentameter. That's what I want. <laughs> Yo, I was re- watching Bible decks, and you know what it remind that just reminded me of. There's like in Psalms, like in the um. King James translation or King, whatever. That's the Protestant Bible. It's not the Catholic Bible. Oh uh, wait, what's whatever? Whatever you fucking Jew. <laughs> but the yeah, Catholic in, Bible. In, in that translation of the Bible, there's like an Easter egg of like of Shakespeare. Like like forty five words in from the beginning is shake and like 45 words from like the end is spear what is fair yeah like i was just like because apparently he had something to do with like translating it or some some shit 
So there's like an Easter egg for Shakespeare <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> like, what do you yeah. mean? Somebody, like all right, next time I go to with, next time I go to a hotel room, it's like, it's like a everyone, all the all oh, the tens a programming, like a programming term, like the tens you know, of people when who they are listening to like, this, get out your Bibles. King James version. King James version. Mind I hope <laughs> J- I hope Jing Sung isn't listening to this. Wait. So how does it say? Like how do I? No, how I, would I it start? It's like in the beginning. God created no, the it's, skies. It's, it's in Psalms, like like, four, oh, like in the 45 Psalms. words in like oh, okay. the beginning. I'm sorry. The word shake is in it. Uh-huh. And then like God, Zach, it's a programming term. Well, but Psalms yeah, like e- Easter egg is something that like start like, I guess, I know comes what from like gaming. Is. It's like when they yeah. hide, like a lot of coders will hide stuff in yeah. the game. I, I right. get it. Like, or I hide Easter eggs all around my apartment. You know, there's like a... <laughs> There's one. There's on like Google. a ghost hiding There's behind stuff. Cool ones. Oh yeah, Google. When you type, um, you type Zerg like who is, something. um, who is who's the guy they make jokes of? Chuck Norris or something. Yeah, like that's an Easter egg. Like, um, let me show you one. There's one on Google that comes to mind, and it's um. Have you ever played StarCraft before or heard of StarCraft? No. Uh, well, it's a computer game, so. If you type in Zerg Rush into Google, you should do this. So check that out. Ah. And it's like themed on the game. Such nerds who work for Google. Yeah, no. <laughs> and it, and What's going on like there? That. I can't see it. What's happening? Well, it's basically yeah, like if you if you've played um StarCraft before, I actually want people to just look it up, man. Yeah, just I Google will. Zerg Rush. Are you like not miking anymore? Oh, you're just like podcast over. Is that what you're doing? But yeah, but yeah, I mean, you could have like explained it into the mic, you know? Uh, see, I see. I just want them to go, go Google Zerg Rush. Go it'll, it'll be Google Zerg Rush. You know, do it. You see, they all we all told you to do it, so you're gonna do it now. But um yeah, I mean yeah. So yeah. I guess we need to figure out what to do like for closing. So I guess we should yeah. do like a closing. Oh yeah, because I was gonna say it's been an hour and a half. <laughs> All right. So yeah, like cl- it, so okay. in closing, we should we should think of something. Wait, 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 wait. So Podcast done.